Hello from the Music Interview Corner. Today with El King. Hi, El. Hi, how's it going? It's fine. It's so cool that you can take time for an interview with us. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I love coming to Germany and um, it's cool that I get to do interviews now. So. So how does it feel for you to play here in Cologne today? Uh, it feels pretty good. This is my third time in Cologne and uh, it's awesome to be back here. Uh, I'm excited. This is I'm on more of a rock and roll tour this time, which makes me feel good. So, And this venue is really awesome. So I think we're probably going to tear the roof off this place tonight. And uh, you just released your first EP. I did. I did. I released my first EP and um, I think it has three songs on it in Europe because one of the songs was uh, too filthy uh, to put out. <laughs> so it's only in the States. Was it too dirty for Germany? I think so. Maybe. I don't know, but I'm going to play it tonight. So you tell oh. me after the show. Let me know if it's, too, it's really filthy. It's disgusting. Very cool. Is it your favorite song on the, on the EP? No, no. My, my favorite song on the EP is Good To Be A Man because uh, I just think that that's such a funny song and it's basically what got me signed. So I, I love that song. I love playing it. It's a good one. And what was your inspiration for that song? Getting my heart broken Ugh. by a European guy. Oh. Yeah. From my country? No. no. So I don't have to apologize <laughs> no, for him. No, no, no. You don't. You don't. You don't. German guys are awesome. Yeah, Very. Uh, last night in Berlin, I saw some guy try to stage dive and fail. Oh. It was uh, hilarious. It was great. Cool. And you, you, you grew up in L.A., I think? I was born in L.A., I grew up in Ohio, and then I moved to New York when I was 11. So. Okay, yeah, you also lived in Copenhagen in Denmark, right? Yeah, I spent some time there, and um, I had a lot of fun. I actually, like, really kind of realized that I really wanted to be a musician when I was in Denmark because I was just hanging out with such cool people who were musicians and they just travel around and live life the way they wanted and I was like I think there's something to this so I kind of just decided this is what I'm going to do and now I get to keep coming back to Germany and uh, hanging out with awesome Germans and having you know a big fion that means party right yeah great fire Ooh. Great. We also say party in Germany. That's also party, party. <laughs> After show party. After show party. Yeah, tonight. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get to party as hard. We we went we went really hard in Berlin, mm -hmm. which I think always happens in Berlin, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's a party city. I got I partied pretty pretty hard the last time I was in Cologne. Um, we played at Luxor, and across the street there's this metal bar. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, and uh, we we had a lot of fun there, and. I don't know, I, I think I maybe flash my boobs to the train that goes by. Really? Yeah, is that bad? No, no, it's actually very funny. Cool, great. I thought it was hilarious, so hopefully the people on the train enjoyed it. I'm sure maybe the, the, the <laughs> male, the, the German men that you like so much will yeah, enjoy, yeah. they will have enjoyed it, surely. But that's how I get people to come to my shows, you know. Just, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But I am here and I'm not so much yeah. into boobs, so. Okay, cool. See, then it works both ways, you know. Yeah. Do you speak a bit Danish? No. No. I, I probably say I, I speak more German and all I know is Schlittenfahrt, fantastisch, danke schön, auf Wiedersehen. That's it. Very good, but your pronunciation is good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little bit German. Oh, really? Look, yeah. Do you have a German grandma? Um, I have a German grandfather. Oh. Yeah. Do I look a little German? Uh, yeah. Yeah? One of my bandmates said, you look like an American girl. And I was like, Is that a good or a bad thing? I don't know. I don't know what I look like. I also don't know, but where's your grandpa from? I couldn't tell you, but his last name is Schneider. Oh, that's typical. Yeah. That's typical? Okay, great. So maybe just all over Germany. Yeah, yeah, could be Schneider and Schmidt and Müller is all over Germany. Wow, yeah. okay, yeah. good to know, good to know. It's a pretty common last name, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's Yeah. I think your, your daddy was Rob Schneider, who is very well known from Saturday Night Live. Yes, yes. How is it for you to, how was it to, to grow up with a comedian as daddy? Well, it, I mean, it was interesting. I don't really know him that well, so we kind of grew up really separately. But um, I definitely saw some interesting parts of this business. I don't know. I changed my last name as soon as I could. I mean, but it's my mother's last name. I, I took my mom's last name just because, uh, I don't know, I did all this by myself, you know? So it's, a, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting thing to, you know, have somebody be well-known in your family. But 
you know, fuck him. Yeah, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck, fuck you, Rob. Yeah, yeah. fuck you, Rob. <laughs> okay, I hope he de really deserves that. <laughs> he does, yeah. he does. Okay, then, yeah. If we do this, but no, maybe yeah, I make yeah, it at like yeah. over it then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, ich liebe Deutschland. Very good, very good. Yeah, I, I got to curse on a. I got interviewed for German radio today, and I got to say, uh, "Fuck shit, cockballs." Oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was really cool because you can just curse on the radio, right? Yeah. Especially when you're not from Germany, you can do Great, that. Hey, that's awesome. Fuck it. But this yeah. is going to be on the internet, so you can curse on the internet, right? Yeah, yeah that's okay. We, we always broadcast bad words Great. and everything. That's beautiful. Yeah, I, I love bad words. That's, I do too, and I, I think censorship is crazy. Well, yeah. there's some things I wouldn't want to see on television, but... No, maybe if you would flash your boobs now again, then I would put a black thing <laughs> over it, just because YouTube will be angry then, but uh, you don't have to do that. Only if you want. Kill me. Sorry, Mom. No, <laughs> no, she would kill me. She would. Yeah. She's not here. I know, I know, and it's 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 so tempting. If I if I had drank more Jägermeister, Jägermeister takes my clothes off. So, German guys, if you ever want to take my shirt off, just give me some Jäger. It works. Yeah, it also. Oh. <laughs> They are just that loud. But how, how is it to be touring with these guys with the heavy who are playing there? I fucking love touring with them. They're so much fun. They're such great guys. And there's, they've been so nice to us. And I don't know. They, they really make touring easy. Sometimes touring, you know, can be difficult and feel strenuous. But with them, it's just like, it's just fun every single night. And they put on such a good show that, like, I re if, I'm, if I'm touring with a band, like, you know, if I really like them, I'll stay and watch. But, like, these guys, like, you don't miss a song, you know? Like, it's, it's really fun to be on tour with them. I, I adore them. So it's cool for, for your fans that we can have them in the background in your interview. <laughs> yes, yes. I think it's pretty cool background music. They're, yeah, they're pretty awesome. And I've heard you're working on your first really full album, and it will be released in spring, is that right? Uh, hopefully in the spring. Um... I'm not sure. I, I guess I should know this stuff, right? No, it, no. <laughs> I know. I just kind of like show up with an instrument and say, I'm, I'm here. I don't know any information. But uh, yeah, it'll be released probably early next year. We still have to finish making it. So I wish I had like a set date. Um, one day soon we'll have a set date. And then I'll get to come back and tour through Germany again with my full length album. Cool, cool. And how is this production process for you? Uh, it's, it's interesting because everything's new to me. You know, I've been in studios, you know, f since I was like 15 or 16, but like n it never felt like it was mine. And so now I have a bit more of a voice, I guess. And we don't have one set producer yet. We're still kind of like working things out. And I, I don't feel like there's a rush because I don't... I don't want to hurry up and just make something so that I have it. You know, I, I really care so much about this that I, yeah, I want to take my time. And, and the thing is, is that like I, I as we're making it, <coughs> we keep touring. And so I just keep getting more fans and I keep, you know, getting my music out to more people. So I, you know, I'm not in a rush, even though the faster I do release this album, the more I can tour over here, you know? Yeah. So it'll come out. It will. But you make it with a lot of love. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, I don't do anything half-ass, except for everything else that I do. Um, just me when it comes to music, though, I, I just, I really, I, I care so much about it. As cheesy as it is, like, this is everything to me, and, and I, I always want to do a good job, and I always want people to, you know, enjoy the music I'm making and hope people are having fun. No, I'm really excited to see your show tonight. It's going to be good. My band is incredible. Uh, I love them so much. And then the heavy afterwards. I mean, I think it's so fun because we, uh, you know, us on tour, me and the heavy, our music is different, but similar in the same kind of like, f you know, feeling sense, you know. But I think it's a really good uh, set, like set of bands because like my music you know, goes this loud, and yeah. then they go this loud. So it's like, it's just, I'm not making any sense. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. It's a really, like, interesting show, and I think they've been really fun. This is probably one of the funnest tours I've ever done. So, and I think the audience has been enjoying it, too. It's good. You're going to have fun tonight. Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm so excited now. I've seen pictures of you, and I think you're a girl who obviously loves tattoos very much. Yes, I love, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, show it. That's cool. 
boobs. I see, I see flashing boobs there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love tits. <laughs> I tell my mom that every tattoo is for her. So this is, this is, uh, okay. I love ACDC. So I got, this is Dirty Deeds. You know, because it's kind beautiful. of thank you. Yeah, yes, flowers. It's really beautiful oh, yeah, and colorful. It's, but this is this. Uh, my my friend who did the tattoo, he was like, oh, "This is gonna mean blood." Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't really know what that represents. And then this is just you know a beautiful girl. There's nothing prettier than girls, you know. But you can't see the boobs on this girl. No, <laughs> this was this was my first um, full girl tattoo, mm -hmm. except for this one. Oh, this. This is um, oh, this is romantic. Yeah, that's romantic. And then this is good times because those are the only kind I have. Taking care of business in a flash. Ah, cool. You know, and it's the Germany colors. In a way, it's the Germany oh, it colors. Is. It is. But it's that's for you. That's for you, Germany. Yeah, for the German guys especially. <laughs> yeah, that's for the German guys. Taking care of business, you know. This is um, my mom was pretty pissed off about this one because oh. she was like, "Tits, L, tits." But it says, "Don't bet on dames because you can't trust us. We're crazy." And then this is for uh, Le this is an L for Leroy. Oh. He he was my rat who saved my life. Oh really? Yep, pretty cool guy. Then he really deserves that. Yeah, he totally does. He gets a hand tattoo. <laughs> love you, Leroy. But, um, yeah, I got tattoos all over me. I love them. I think... Uh, how many do you have? Do you still know how many oh. it are? Or shall I say how much? Because we don't know. Uh, let's... I'd say... I think maybe 28 to, or 30. I mean, it's not that many, but it's, it's a good amount. Because I've got tattoos on my legs and on my ankles and feet. And uh, I got like five on my back, so... Oh, cool. But you're not done. I think there will be coming some more in the yeah, future. No, it's funny. I haven't been tattooed since before I came on tour. I got tattooed like two days before I came on tour oh, cool. six months ago. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been tattooed since. So I'm itching for a tattoo. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. Do a lot of people in Germany get tattoos? Um, not so much, but I'm quite often in Finland. And there the people are also very crazy about tattoos. Mm -hmm. It's natural to have one. Okay, wow, all right. I mean, that's kind of how it is in New York. I mean, people look at you kind of... Like, you don't have any tattoos. Like, you're such a square. Oh, you know? You're an alien, then. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's like, uh, you stand out more if you don't have any tattoos or piercings. And every time I meet somebody with tattoos, without tattoos or piercings, I'm just like, oh, wow, that's all. I think it's cool, you know? You're still a virgin. Like. Yeah, totally. Virgin skin. But, uh, yeah, my mom gave up on me a long time ago. I'm, I'm trying not to get my knuckle tattoos. Okay. Uh, I want them. Okay, but maybe one day when your mommy is, uh, is sleep, some, sometimes she has to sleep, then you go to the sh tattoo shop very fast. If my mom ever loses her sight, I'll just get so. face tattoos, and she'll never okay. be fully disappointed in me, because she won't see. Yeah, that's, that's really a good oh, plan. My poor mother. I'm so sorry, Mom. And, and what are your other dreams for the future, besides your new album and more tattoos? Are there other dreams, you're, things you're dreaming to achieve or you're dreaming to do? I want... Oh, that's really tough. I think about this all the time, and it changes every day. Uh, I'd love to be able to breathe underwater. Oh, cool. uh, yeah, good I, I feel like I feel like you know one day. I mean, we have scuba, we have scuba gear, but yeah. if I could just get aqua lungs put in me, that would be super cool. Yeah, there's also the climate change. Maybe that totally. would be really really yes. useful then. Yes, yes. You know, I I think science will get it one day. I want to own a farm with mm -hmm. lots of goats and pigs and llamas. Oh. Uh, But I don't know, and then I want to have like 13 children. Oh, really? I know, I really need to get started, but I, I don't really like the guys I date for very long, so oh, okay. can't, I, haven't been, I haven't gotten pregnant yet. Yeah, you need the right guy for 13 yeah, children. Yeah, totally. Or like the right, you know. The right amount of guys? Yes, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, the right amount of husbands. Um, <laughs> you know. Or maybe you can start with, with twins or with more than two children yeah, at the one time. Maybe. Exactly. Or, I, yeah, if I just have twins every time I get pregnant, then that's closer to my goal, half the work. Yeah, you know? then you need one half because uh, one, only one child when you want to have 13. I'll just, no, uh, I'll just maybe, I don't know what I would do. Yeah, but maybe time will just show. Yeah, maybe, maybe time, maybe I'll just be cut off by then. Or... Oh, I hope not. Oh, I know. I hope not to, because uh, I'd like to have 30 children. There's a 30, not 13, 30. No, no, I'd like to have 13. But if oh. I if I had 30 kids, that would be cool. Is that physically possible? I don't know. If you maybe, but then you should start tonight. Maybe yeah, after I the know, after show right? party. Right, guys, let's get it started. Um, did you think we were going to talk about this stuff in an interview? 
Oh, maybe I, I talk about a lot of things, okay. and I give it to you. You can show it. Uh, you can see if you want me to cut it out or not. No, I don't want you to cut any of this. Great. So thank you very much, Elle, for this yeah, cool interview. Of course, of course. This was so fun. It's really nice to meet you. Yes, it's the same. And so much. I wish you so much luck for your album and for the thirteen thank children. You. Thank you. Thank oh, you. the thirteen children. I'll give them German names. Ah, cool. Yeah, and then goodbye from the music interview corner. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.